look like an old lady. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Erin. So today we're going to be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person on the planet who hasn't played this game yet. I don't know what it is with me picking games that everyone else has played except for me, but that's just how it be sometimes. How old is this game? I honestly don't know. This is the second time in a row where I don't know how old a game is. Hold on. Oh! Oh, okay, this game isn't that old. <laughs> Last time I played Journey, which was from 2012. This is actually from 2017, which isn't too bad. What I gathered from the summary was we were playing as Edith Finch, a woman who is trying to figure out why most of her family has died and she's the only remaining family member. Like I said, I'm sure most people have already played this game, but if you are interested in the nostalgia and want to go back and see someone new play it, here I am. That is what I'm here for. <laughs> let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. I've also changed the camera setup a little bit. Let me know if this is any different. I tried to zoom in as best as I can. I know when I played Journey, the camera was all over the place. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to frame this whole thing, so I hope it looks better. Let me know in the comments what you think. <laughs> <laughs> in my ear holes. Okay, before this starts, let's... Ooh. Oh, we got like a family tree going on here. Yeah, let's turn that down a little bit. Oh, look at Edith. Is that Edith? I can't tell like where her hair begins and where it stops. We're on a boat. Oh, <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I'm like, this is taking a while. <laughs> okay. Can I... Oh. Oh, there we go. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. That's okay. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Okay. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like oh. I wasn't the first person to hop it. She's talking for me. She's doing all the... I mean, if you want to do the commentary, girl. So this is Washington, huh? Looks pretty I lived dreary. here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Why not? That is an odd-shaped house. Very strange. I wonder what type of flower that is. Oh, look at their mailbox. Does that say? Oh. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. They were probably getting evicted. No one paying their taxes? That's no good. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh. Sad. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. I just zoned out hardcore. What did, what did you say? <laughs> I don't, I feel like that's kind of treacherous. Now let's do it. I wonder how old Edith is. Cause she sounds young, but I mean her hands I mean her hands were young, but <laughs> the truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Oh, but now why? I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. So she's the only remaining person in her family that's alive that's kind of the woods around the house have always crazy. been uncomfortably silent as if they're about to say something but never do they don't sound very silent it sounds like woods <laughs> can i pick that up whoa whoa <laughs> look at our chest Ooh. that is strange Say missing. 
Okay. I guess they don't want us to read that. I hope I'm not missing anything because I don't know the controls yet. So we took the cool way down. Okay. It turned up the brightness just a little bit. Hopefully that helps anyone here. The house was exactly wow. like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. That's really cool, actually. What is that? I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. Huh? I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Yeah, that's a little odd. All these missing posters. Looks like a young boy? I can't tell. That is a tragic haircut, though. I can't pick any- Wow. <laughs> when she walks around. <laughs> okay, stop. I need to stop. Can I see what's in the trash? It's me. I am in the trash. This is actually a very cool house. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. She doesn't feel the same way, apparently. I mean, I guess this is a little strange. I don't know why this kind of reminds me of Coraline. The movie. That would be awesome to have in your pond. If she doesn't want this house, now, I'll take it. as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoa. I just kind of want to explore a tiny little bit. Ooh. Are we going to have to crawl through that doggy door? What's over there? The house felt oh. like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Dang, you don't have to come to your mother like that. <laughs> Even the swing set was old and decrepit. Like my mother. <laughs> I heard something moving around in the garage. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that and I'm gonna just go in the front door. We got some potting mix. Another missing poster. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Got it. <laughs> Looking in, I felt like the house mm. itself had been waiting for me. Probably. So I just paused it and I'm looking at the family tree a little bit and it looks like Edie was born a long time ago. <laughs> so who she was talking about has been like her great grandmother. I'm trying to see who came first here. Odin. Who's in Ingeborg? <laughs> Sanjay, Kay, Sven. I'm guessing these are all pets. Maybe? Okay, so let's back away. I guess we really do have to go through that doggy door. I freaking called it. Here we go. Whoa, okay, we just went for it. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. You seem to do it just fine. Oh. The power had been turned off the night we left. Which was seven years ago. Wow. So what made that noise? I feel like there's an animal in here. Probably. Oh, they do that trick too. <laughs> My family and I do the same thing with the, the ball and a string in your garage. Anything lying around here? What, what made that noise? I'm still confused. Alright. Looks like we gotta turn the power on. For the first time in years. Oh. I felt like I was home. I thought you said you hated this house. Girl, you're so inconsistent. 
I sound like I'm mad at her, but I'm not. She just needs to make up her but mind. But instead of a family, they were just oh. memories of one. Oh, they're showing us who's who. Okay, so Dawn... Yeah, so Edie is Edith's grandmother. Dawn is her mother. Louis is her brother, who I think is the one who passed away. Yeah. Okay, beloved... I'm just trying to get an understanding of the family tree here. Beloved brother of Edith, son of Dawn, great-grandson to Edie. Edie. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Finch Family Cemetery. So they own a cemetery? Is that it? Or they just have so many family members that died, so they made their own? It's kind of dark. <laughs> wow. Y'all ate some Chinese Like how only food. one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. It's probably so remote that no one wanted to go out here. What is that? Windiness. And why are there so many books? Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Is Molly... Aww. Okay, so... Sanjay K. Ingeborg and <laughs> Sven aren't uh, pets because they wrote down Molly and she was a pet. So if Molly was only 10 years old, I guess that's old for a cat. I think we got everything from the kitchen. Y'all are messy. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Yikes. Some, something must have gone down that caused an argument. There's Edie's wheelchair. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. That is a great description. This is still very abnormal <laughs> to me. <laughs> this is this would be a very beautiful house to have. It's just massive and odd. <laughs> when your family has killer whales on your freaking wall. Oh, that's just into the garage. Y'all have a window looking into your garage? Alright. Whoa, what is that about? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. This is odd. <laughs> they, whoa, look at all of those books. I don't understand. I mean, I understand reading. I love to read, but fam. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. What is happening with these brothers going missing and dying? Edie, Don, Milton, Lewis, Edith. Edith had her own mail slot and she was only like 10 years old. Barbara? No, what's that thing? Oh. Eee. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. That's adorable. Great Grandpa Sven. Barbara Finch. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. So we're just trying to find out where the key fits is what I'm getting at. Definitely not this door because, wow. That <laughs> baby looks really scared. Guess we'll After Milton stairs. disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> what? Her mom closed off all the bedrooms 
and her grandma drilled peepholes in the in the walls. Okay. That's kind of cool. That that just reminds me of Animal Crossing. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. So she was a childhood star. Wow. Oh, let's not go up there just yet. Oh. Oh, she sealed up all the bedrooms to people that were already gone, I'm guessing. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Yeah, Odin was the one who was was born in like 1917 or something. Aw, that's them painting her door. That's adorable. But she wasn't even alive when uh, when Edith was, so so she never met her. Sven E. Sven Hofstad Finch. 1915 to 1964. And Edie's... Oh. So she died the year that they that everyone left the house. Maybe that's what drove them apart? So, looks like we have no choice but to go upstairs, right? Or not. <sighs> One second. Molly. Wasn't there a cat named Molly? And she has her own room? Wow. That is something. This doesn't have a name on it. This isn't I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. That is I think my awesome. mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Why? Why would you want to seal this up? That's awesome. If I had a playroom like this when I was a kid, I would have gone absolutely Lewis bonkers. told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Oh, so that's what the key goes to. Okay. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Whoa, that's awesome. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. But, okay, I want to go there, but not just yet, because there's the attic that we have to look at. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Okay, <laughs> I guess not. Oh, good thing you're a tiny little girl, Edith. Whoa. This would be so cool to have. Oh, we're crawling around. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. He's the one that went missing, right? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Ooh. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. I mean, well, it's saving. It just seems like she uh, doesn't know much of her family's legacy. This is adorable. So Molly is not their cat. Didn't they say her their cat was Molly and she loved the I grew up the looking salmon? at Molly's room through the peephole. Oh. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> that is adorable. That is so cute. Aww. Being inside for the first room. time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Yeah. This reminds me of those um, Barbie movies, one where she's she has a twin sister and they're in in a tower. December 1947. Damn. Molly's been gone a while. Oh. I got the sense Edie had yeah. spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. 
Right. It seems like she's her daughter. Molly was Edie's daughter. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. Oh, are we playing so as her? So I looked around for something to eat. We're playing as her. Oh, look at her little feet. Adorable. Wait, Molly was only like 10 years old when she when she died? Oh. That's horrible. She had a kick-ass room though. So she was really hungry. She wants something to eat. My Halloween candy was all gone. Her voice is so cute. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. You're eating the gerbil food? No. Where is your gerbil? I don't know what door to go to. Oh, it's, she has her own bathroom. I can't even look at myself. I'm too short. I kept eating and eating. Don't, what? No, don't eat that. Put it down. Put it, ooh. Ooh. No, I don't want to eat that. I'm not going to do that. This girl, all right, fine. I ate a lot of things that night. I don't think those are edible. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. What are you doing? And suddenly... <gasps> what? I was a cat. What? What? Okay, I, I missed the door. Crap. This, uh, she has to be dreaming or something, right? What is happening? Okay, I did something. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. There we go. Can I see? Oh, it's Christmas time. Whew. What is happening? Oh, hell yeah. Look at me go. I'm getting stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> Whoa. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. I'm scared. This girl is definitely dreaming, right? I love the sound of the purring now. Oops, uh... Yeah! Look at me go! Damn! Where's the... The babies were all gone. Where'd the bird go? Oh. <laughs> there you are. There we go. I jumped and I almost got her. This is kind of messed up. Ooh. Wow, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I could tell she was getting really tired. Why do I want to kill this bird so bad? I don't really want to do this. Okay, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to reach that. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad oh. I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. What? And suddenly... I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. What? Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What? This is kind of awesome, but like... Whoa! Am I supposed to be finding... Rabbits! Oh. I don't want to be killing all these... Oh. <laughs> this 
imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then what? I flew off to find something bigger. I don't think... A mama rabbit! We just had a rabbit. Aren't you full? I'm getting sad. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. What is happening? And suddenly, I was a shark. <laughs> Girl. People everywhere. Captain Finch, fishing company. Wow. Now I'm gonna eat people? I hope not. Let me go under here. Yeah. I was big, but I moved real quiet. This doesn't sound very quiet. Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just demolishing all these people. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Yeah, you don't seem like you want to stop. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so messed up. But I'm having fun. Hey man. I just want to talk. The last passenger. They <laughs> were still hungry. Across the water, I smelled it in Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. Oh, I'm still the monster. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Ooh. I'm in a freaking house. Am I? I'm in that. I got closer and closer. I'm back home. What? I don't like that sound. Wait. All my stomach started growling. All my stomach started growling. Oh, stop and with that noise. I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know.
not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Uh, I'm having fun, so let's play for a little bit longer. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. All of her stomachs? Can I look underneath the bed? Well, there's the octopus that we were. But she said we were a monster, so maybe we were, we were an octopus. There's a monster. Daddy. So her dad is a, is the captain? Is that what it was? This is kind of dangerous. We're not going to jump around the, the trees, are we? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. I wonder why. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Her mom named the cat Molly? So, okay. So, they did have a cat named Molly, but they also had a relative relative named Molly as well. That totally doesn't make it confusing. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, All of her, her pets, she has all the pictures of them in the cages. That's so sweet. Derpy! <laughs> Sorry. That is really funny though. Rob. Lurpy? What kind of name? <laughs> Purpley. <laughs> Purpy? Purpy? She was Derpy Jr. <laughs> Shrine sketches. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Yeah, that's a little weird. My friend Bigfoot, Random Junk, Home Movies, Weird America, Edith. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. There was another Edith before her? Hold on. I'm an idiot. I think it's just Edie. They named her after Edie, right? Built 1937, Sven Finch. Edie won't go. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. That's cute. <clears throat> when Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but <sighs> she didn't. So Edie is very whimsical. That's sad, though. Dragon kills Sven. I mean, that would be quite a way to go. I hope I get killed by a dragon. She was a painter? Louis died a week before we left, but... Edie had already started to memorialize him. Because he went missing, right? I mean, when someone goes Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. She loves her gloves. When I was a kid, I had fingerless gloves. I still have fingerless gloves, and I wore them shits 24-7. I thought I was the coolest kid. Her room was like a museum. Odin. He was the very first, if I remember correctly. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. I remember these things. I used to have those little binoculars that you would look through and you would slide the, uh, the pictures through. Oh. Oh! Odin Finch brings yeah. the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Oh, Ingeborg <laughs> is not a pet. 
That is his wife. I feel bad now. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Seems like that didn't But 40 foot out. waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Whoa. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. So Edie is Odin's daughter, and her husband was Sven, and Molly was her daughter. Oh, so Molly would be Edith's grandmother. Okay. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Aww. In 500 years of Finch's- oh, she already read that. <laughs> okay. So that- okay, that gives me a better Whatever's understanding. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Huh. Yeah, it sure does. I love her little sketches. Adorable. Sven and Edie. So these doors show us who was together. I understand now. Her little pill container. Looks like the last one she took was a Tuesday. Okay. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is a very pink bathroom. When I was 14 to 13, this would have been the coolest thing ever. I love how Edie has all these little toys. That's pretty cool. She seemed like a, a the very The only young trace soul. Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It oh. was a pretty big trace. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. The secret in the bath in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Interesting. There's a secret in this bathroom. Huh. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> That's so cool. What? This is like a dream come true. If I had a little treasure hunt to do myself, Edith. Sven gave excited. Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Huh. What are they trying to show us? What is that noise? <laughs> Couple turns land into a native haven. Huh? Milton. That was her brother, if I remember correctly. Oh, we're in Calvin's room. And Sam. Brothers? Hold on. Yeah, Calvin and Sam, they were born the same year, but Calvin died a lot earlier than Sam. Wow. Oh, look at them. Are they twins? They look like it. died 1961, right? Yeah. And they stopped measuring him. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Because he died. And he probably missed him a lot. This is the coolest house ever. I know she keeps saying the house gave her an uncomfortable feeling, but like... This is awesome. Huh. I'm 
kind of scared because I don't want to. to snoop so can we go up these stairs oh they don't lead anywhere this would be such a cool room to command center <gasps> so sam wanted to be a soldier and calvin wanted to be an astronaut I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Aww. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Am I playing as Calvin or Sam? Whee. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. That's kind of messed up. Oh, wait. Brother is right there. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm so dumb. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. I'm playing as Calvin, right? I'm pretty sure. Sam! Calvin! Dino's ready! Coming! <laughs> Her voice. Okay. Okay, time to stop. Can I get off? How do I get off this swing? But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Do what? Oh no, is he gonna shoot himself into space? I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh no. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh shit. And maybe he'd still be here, but I doubt it. Oh no. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. This is horrible. That's gonna snap. God. The day he okay, made it and, fly. and he did. Yikes. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Wow. Kind of speechless right now so i'm gonna leave this episode here this game has been insane so far it has taken so many paths that i did not expect it to take i think it's so awesome that you get to literally play it as your family members pretty much in their last moments which sucks and it's sad but it's also extremely unique and it's very very cool i love the layout of the house i love there's all these secret rooms and stuff I'm so excited to see where it's gonna go next. Please join me for the next episode. Uh, we'll see how far we go. I'm not exactly sure how long this game is, but either way, I'm definitely gonna enjoy the ride because it has been crazy so far, but I'm really enjoying myself, like I said. Bye, guys! <laughs>